own card from card SD card. Okay. Yes, they're going to roll it out. The row, the row. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Look at me and then to the left. Thank you. Now look at me. <laughs> Thank you. Readiness. Uh, the uh, vehicle is in a perfect condition. Thank you to everyone uh, who prepared the vehicle. We just need to start working, launch it. What is the feeling like? Well, the ship looks great. We're excited. We're excited for the team that put it together and very appreciative of, uh, of all the work that's been done here. Hey, Ricky and I talked about that this may be the last time we climb out in flight suits, so we were trying to uh, cherish the moment and uh, we look forward to getting in uh, for the launch in a couple of days. Welcome on our traditional tour uh, through this museum. This is the ground control uh, system. This is the central control panel that they used for launching the first uh, satellite and the very first uh, human in space, Yuri Gagarin, and the first uh, female, Russian female in space, Tereshkova. And in this uh, head headset and this uh, launch key, uh, were used to launch the first rocket from Baikonur. Yes, exactly. Okay, let's sign the rocket. Could you look at us? Thank you. What should I write? And the date today? Today is the 16th. And when you're done, look at me, please. If you have it, then um, could you please bring it? There are thousands of questions about the Hawaiian name. Please look at me. Thank you very much. That's great. Everybody just thinking it's the sun and that's the moon. That is the moon. And, and right now, if it is possible, could you please stand up and they will take photographs of you with this uh, poster? Uh, could you please uh, stand in the front? Please look at me. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Hold the arms. Thank you.
Bill Gerstenmeyer, NASA's Associate Administrator for Exploration. Bill, um, 2018 represents the 20th anniversary of the launching of the first components of this International Space Station. That logo is on the uh, spacecraft right behind you, uh, representing that. Would you have 20 years ago envisioned what this facility has become in terms of research, permanent human occupancy, and what it means for the future? Yeah, boy, you know, I think back to those days 20 years ago, and what's occurred is just absolutely phenomenal in terms of the hardware on orbit, the amount of research we're doing, the activities we're doing with the commercial partners in the U.S., you know, getting uh, U.S. commercial crew guys ready to go launch, you know, seeing commercial cargo go into space station, absolutely unheard of or thought unthought of back 20 years ago. But then I also think about the partnership and how well we've been working together, how well we work as a team. To see this happen and continue to work for all these years, not only is it an engineering marvel, the hardware is amazing, but the people that have come to work together in this program are really special. They've done something unique for the world that is absolutely amazing. And I don't think 20 years ago we could have ever imagined what we see today. And it's really special seeing that logo behind me on the fairing. 20 years recognizing the space station. What a tremendous accomplishment for the entire international team. Six days after arriving on the station, Drew Feustel and Ricky Arnold will do a spacewalk. That's a little bit of deja vu about the way uh, business used to be done in the space shuttle days. How significant is that, and what does that mean in terms of flexibility, capability for the future? You know, I think it's really a, a tribute to our training and our preparation that crews can arrive on station and get ready to go do something as complicated as an EVA that fast and get ready to move. So, again, I think this station has shown the versatility of what we can do, the way we can put things together, you know, the launch vehicles that are coming up and arriving and the activities and to get the EVA scheduled works out just extremely well and it shows that the crews are ready and prepared and, and trained. And for 2018, one, one final question. How, uh, how significant uh, is this year in terms of getting ever so close to commercial crew operations, making progress on the space launch system and all of the other components that will take us the next step? Yeah, it's really amazing. When you look at this year, all the hardware that's coming together in the United States, you know, we just had the uh, inner tank region or uh, portion of the uh, space launch system shipped to Marshall for testing. Um, the large hydrogen tank will ship later this year. Work's continuing in Florida for both the commercial crew vehicles for Boeing. Out in uh, Hawthorne, uh, the SpaceX vehicles are coming together. Just a tremendous year seeing all this hardware to come together, all this hard work. So, you know, as we discussed earlier, as we think about where we are today, 20 years after those first elements went to space station, I now fast forward 20 years from now to 2038, and I think of where we're going to be and what we're doing in the future. Those steps we're taking today, we don't know where they're going to lead, but I guarantee you it'll be special. It'll be a great place. This is a great international team, a great commercial team that can work together and just do absolutely amazing things. Kirk Shireman, the ISS program manager. Kirk, uh, we begin the year with this launch uh, with two astronauts on board the Soyuz to maintain the core U.S. orbital segment presence uh, and the year of education on station. How significant is that to the program in the next uh, half year on orbit? Sure, this has been a really unique and a great opportunity for us to have uh, four USOS crew members on board. Up until uh, two came home shortly a, a while ago, but to have four here for the first half of this year is an outstanding opportunity. To have an educator on board and help uh, explain to uh, to children and, uh, and uh, high school students around the country what a great uh, phenomena space is and all the things that one can learn. Just a great opportunity. We're really excited to have this. 2018 represents uh, the 20th anniversary of the launching of the first components for the International Space Station. The fairing bears a logo to mark that occasion. Uh, how significant in your mind is it, uh, could you have ever imagined that it would grow to this facility with this capability 20 years ago? Yeah, it's just amazing to me. I had the pleasure of being here uh, November 20th, 1998, when we launched the very first piece of uh, International Space Station to space. And to stand here you know, almost 20 years later and, uh, and see the great vehicle that's been built and all the fine work that's been done, it's just, uh, just really a pleasure, uh, uh, just amazing to me. 
Um, we thought it would be a long time before the first crew flew to the International Space Station, and, and here we are, the 55th expedition. So uh, it's just uh, amazing all the things that have occurred, and, uh, and I look forward to a great future for us. This is, we're not over yet. We have a lot, a lot left to be done. Very unique uh, opportunity here, just six days after uh, this crew arrives on board. Uh, Drew Feustel and Ricky Arnold will suit up, go outside for uh, a spacewalk that harkens back to the way business used to be done in the space shuttle days even. Uh, how busy will this crew be and how impactful will the next six months be for station? Now this crew is going to be really busy at the very beginning. As you mentioned, there's an EVA on the 29th, a really important EVA. It's setting up some uh, some antennas for some uh, payloads that are coming up very shortly. Um, there's a SpaceX flight that will be flying uh, a, a, a lot of research. And then right on the heels of that Dragon flight will be a orbital ATK Cygnus flight. So just uh, from, from get-go, they're going to be very, very busy. Uh, a lot of visiting vehicles and spacewalks. Um, I think these guys will uh, have a great mission and, uh, and plenty of work to be done.